Hello, welcome to Spirit Walking. I'm Spirit Walker, and here I am in my uh, adopted hometown of Prattville, Alabama. We're going to show you something that was, that hasn't existed for quite a while, and that is Prattmont Drive-In Theater. It's a place that I went to a lot when I was a kid. I used to park approximately in this spot. In fact, this was like my favorite place to be. On a Friday and Saturday night, we'd load up a truck, uh, a car load of people, and we'd come down here and we'd watch movies. This is where I first saw Bruce Lee. 1973 saw Bruce Lee's uh, first movie I saw uh, Billy Jack here as you can imagine I was into Indians and uh, martial arts so this was the place to come many a date many many friends piled in the back of a truck <laughs> coming in here it's now all grown over it's completely changed but I'm going to show you what's left of Prattmont Drive-In right behind me would be the uh, concession stand you can see uh, you can see the roof of the concession stand right there and uh, we're gonna we can make our way into the concession stand I'll show you a few things in there uh, this was all parking and then if you sweep around this way you can see all that dirt that berm right there wasn't there it was all flat over here there was a playground right in front of these trees and the screen is somewhere in those trees I'm pretty sure the base of the screen still exists and we're gonna try to find it now if you go on further to the left, you can see a road. That's now Highway 82 here in Prattville that goes straight through. Highway 82 used to end where that big bus is uh, pulling out right there is Highway 31. It used to end at 31 and this section of Highway 82 on this side of Highway 31 was actually the drive-in theater's entrance. And you would come around, sweep around to the left you can see the Liberty gas station in the distance there. It used to be an oil well gas station, and I, I'll have a vlog about that soon. And uh, it used to sweep around by these uh, this gravel and where that debris is, and then circle the drive-in. You come out the other side, and we'll go around the other side in a minute. Right now, we're gonna see if we can get into that. Uh, see if we can get into the snack bar. I'm pretty sure that the speaker stands back then were cemented in the ground had two big speakers on each side back then young people you took the speaker off and set it in your car window and rolled the window up so it held in place and that's the way you would listen to the movie so we're going to go around behind the concession stand which is right there you can see the windows in the back chain link fence protecting uh, the windows i think we can get in on this side over here Kind of looks spooky from the back. You can see all the windows. This was also where the projector room was. Everything was contained in this one little brick uh, stone building. Well, I guess it's cinder block. Cinder block building, flat roof. You could park behind it because back then the ground rose a little bit higher. You can see over the top. I'm gonna see if we can get in on this right side. Okay, well this is quite interesting entrance. Uh, of course it had an entrance on both sides because you could park on the right side or left side of the screen. All that berm of dirt wasn't there. Uh, so I'm pretty sure we can just walk right in through these branches and uh, see the inside. In here. This was the snack bar. You can look along the wall there. Uh, that's where everybody would have been that were serving up the snacks. The Q line in front of the metal bars. You come in, two lines, one going to the right, one going to the left. We come around to the snack bar area. You can see back there. Lighting may not be very good in here, but this was a, this was a, a counter. I think that they probably had the drinks and everything on it. It's followed over here, but this was all back. Behind was the snack bar. You can come around over here, there's another entryway. That's the one I would always come in because I was always parked on that side of the snack bar. The bathrooms are over here. 
<laughs> this, uh, this was the projector room. There was one bathroom over here, as you can see out that way, and one bathroom on the other side. And this was the projector room. Let's see where you can look out the projector window. Yeah, look. So the projectors would be on this side, shooting out that window, and on that side, shooting out that window. Obviously, not at a big bank of dirt, so that they could change the the reels. Uh, there was two two projectors not going at the same time. One would be going, and when they would cut off, they'd cut this one on so that the uh, film continued to run, and they could observe what they were looking at through these windows up here. And this was this was the projector room, not very big. I never got to come in here when it was running, but it's pretty cool. I saw an office over here. See what's left in the office. No beat up desk. No beat up desk in here. Make sure I'm not getting close to a snake. I don't think it's out this time yet. But uh, this was the office. Behind the scenes in the snack bar. Storage. Looks like storage area there. They kept the various supplies. See out the back windows. This is uh, behind the scenes in the snack bar. Wow. You can see the tile floor the way it used to be right here. See the tile floor is still sort of intact. Some pieces have come up. Obviously, this place where they kept kept the uh, food and snacks warm, low hanging like uh, probably popcorn and stuff like that over there. I don't know what this was. Probably they put set up on the counter to put popcorn in or something bag of popcorn I guess when they sold it. Don't know. But they have power aid back then so this is a recent addition. <laughs> but uh, now you can see out over there. Again, more storage area back here. Storage. There's a wasp nest proving the wasps aren't out yet. So this is a good time to look. This side. We'll go in and out the other side. See if we can find the screen. So all my Prattle friends that used to come out here and frequent this drive in and I have a lot of them here. This is what it looks like today. While we're over here on this side I'll show you the uh, exit where the exit used to be. The exit used to be over on this side. And it was probably somewhere right around in here was the exit. You go out. Interesting thing is one time my uh, it had one of those little gates they would puncture your tires if you tried to come in that way. So when you ran over it this way, it would lay down flat. Well, one time I stopped about halfway over and backed up and punctured a tire. <laughs> had a flat tire trying to get out of the theater. And uh, had to go down the road and pull over and fix it. So we're going to go back on the other side now and see if we can go into the woods there and find the base of the screen. Right over in here, there used to be a playground that had swing sets and things like that for the kids. 
the kids would uh, leave their parents alone in the cars and go ahead and come down here and play on the playground and that way parents could keep an eye on their kids while they watched the movie, which was on a screen right up above. Uh, the screen would have been about as high as that tallest tree right there at the top. Pretty good sized screen. We're going to go through here and see if we can find the base of it where it was mounted. I'm told that it still exists. There it is. I see it already. And you can see the metal posts that the uh, screen was anchored to as it stood straight up. Got metal posts here. A lot of the uh, concrete is falling off the back. You can see metal posts sticking up back there. There was probably a back layer and a front layer. Of course, these trees have pretty much destroyed it. And you can see how long it is. It goes from those trees right there and it goes all the way down to that big tree right there. So it's pretty wide screen. If you look out there, you can see the highway that comes beside it right there. That was the entrance. So you come around, come out the other side on 31, 31, go straight in front. The screen faced the front. And uh, I'll post a, a still shot of what the drive-in looked like. I've got a still shot from the air, and I've got a still shot of the front of Prattmont Drive-In. So I'll, I'll put that on this video so you can see what it looked like back in the day. Kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about from, a, from my eyes, being a young, young man out here. Uh, most interesting thing about Prattmont Drive-In is when I was a kid, uh, as I explained, you had these big clunky speakers that were about this big. And you put them in the driver's side as you drove up, you'd reach out, pick one up, and there was one, there were two there, so a car on each side could use the speaker. And I would pull up beside it and I would take a speaker out, hang it in my drive, driver's window, roll it up so because it just kind of hung with a little lip over the edge of your window. And then you could hear the movie. Everybody in the car could hear the movie. The only problem was it was really loud to the driver. It was right in your ear. So one time I brought my girlfriend out here and took, him, took her on a date, parked my favorite spot, which is where I started this video. And uh, I had the speaker, I took the speaker, but I didn't want to hang it right here in the window. There were only two of us in the car and it was very inconvenient and very loud in my ear. So I took it and hung it in the back window. So I got out and I went around and rolled down the window and I put it in the back window. That way it, it, everybody could hear it, but it wasn't right in my ear. Well, come the end of the movie, it was a good movie I don't remember what it was but I do remember this when I got ready to drive off I forgot the speaker in the back window so as I started to drive off I hear a <coughs> and my back window was gone and for three weeks I drove around with plastic over my back window and I remember it was a 63 Ford Falcon it was beat all up I drove it to school with that window flapping that that uh, plastic my friends would say you know I knew Indians were poverty stricken but that's ridiculous and that was the embarrassment of my high school years having the window blown out of my car Prattmont driving gotta love it all right so this is Prattmont drive-in I hope you enjoyed this little spirit walk through an old haunt of mine uh, if you got any comments, if there's anything that you saw in the video, I know a lot of my friends are going to watch this. If you see anything that you'd like me to add to the video, uh, drop a line in the comment section below. Uh, make sure that you uh, straighten me out on any, any, any facts I might have gotten wrong. You know it was a long time ago. So help me out. Give me ideas. Places you want to see in Prattville or around Prattville or around Alabama. I travel all over, so I'll be sure to, to uh, hook up those places if I can find them. Uh, but give me comments, give me feedback. I'm all open. All right? So, that's the end of this one. I'm Spirit Walker, and I approved of this message.